One of the things I thought to kind of get out of the get out in the open early on was just the the questions around data, data privacy, yeah. data security, personal identifiable information. I do have to say that I was at the Westminster tube station today, mm -hmm. and I noticed Google Ads along the along the uh, I guess the doors of all the different trains, just talking about Google's messaging. So you were lightning quick in response and really being proactive about we were the advertising messaging. Advertising on the tube train. Yeah, just well, along, well, not on the tube train, but uh, as the, on the doors by the tube train. Okay. It's it talked about protecting information. You can see yeah. all of your information by hitting a button and yeah. various other things. Yeah, so I mean, obviously, this is in the headlines right now in a, in a big way following the Cambridge Analytica thing. Incidentally, I went to Cambridge University, as mentioned, and I saw a quote, <laughs> and I don't know if it's true, but Mark Zuckerberg says perhaps we should start investing, investigating Cambridge University. Uh, there's bad things <laughs> happening there. So uh, that might be fake news, but that worries me. Um, however, uh, I mean, to make a serious point, obviously there's a real concern around you know, this particular story and um, personal data and its control. And I think you know, the EU um, has done a number of things that have been clunky but very well intentioned in the, mm -hmm. in the field of the internet. So um, e-privacy directive, which is the reason we all have a pop-up banner saying, hey, this site uses cookies. And now GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulations, which has a very good intent, which is making sure that users understand how their data is used and have control over it. And um, I can't speak for Facebook because all I know is what's, you know, what's printed about them, and, and I'm not sure how accurate all of that is. But um, when I look at the, the challenges thrown up by the Cambridge Analytica case, I think there, there, there are several kind of dimensions to them. One is um, this sort of apparent leakage of data, not of the individual's concern, but of the friends of the individuals. Was that intended or not? Is that a part of a design feature or not? And then there's secondly, obviously, the sort of electoral uh, involvement uh, of uh, Cambridge Analytica using potentially some of that data. And then there's thirdly some other practices which they had that were shabby. So all I can talk about is the Google perspective. And I think firstly, I'd say with Google, um, what's been revolutionary about our model on the advertising side is that we don't care who you are and we don't want to know who your friends are. Actually, what works for us and for our customers is somebody was searching for shoes in Mayfair at four minutes past six. Anybody that is selling shoes that could fulfill that can reach that person and connect with them. And that's what's, what's been a revolutionary model and it's not based at all on knowing anything about you. So I think the first thing is we, you know, we don't have that intent on knowing the data. But then secondly, we've, we've tried all the time to have and some very fundamental principles on, on sort of personal data. The first is security. So you know, we can't give you privacy and control over your data if it's not secure. And this is not easy because it's been proven that you know, many governments are trying to access your data and so are many bad actors. And I mean, governments including the UK and the US government, for example, outside of the powers that have been granted to them by their own political system. So this is quite challenging. Um, and so, you know, we encrypt every time you search with Google, that's on an encrypted link. If you use Gmail, uh, if, if anybody does, does use Gmail, you should use two-factor authentication so we can send you a code or you have some other device that, um, uh, that gives an additional layer of uh, security. So we do a bunch of stuff to ensure security. Once you've got security, then I think you can start to think about privacy. And the, the two principles that are really important there are transparency and control. So we think that you should have complete transparency on how your data is used. And if you want to find that out in respect of Google, you go to my account. And we've actually built this by our team, our engineering team in, in, in Munich, in Germany, built this. And the Germans have got a very high bar on personal uh, data uh, and security, quite understandably. Uh, so you can go there and you can see which are the services I'm using on Google, where have I opted to share data, and you can turn on or turn off anything. You can also, with one switch, turn off any personalized advertising. And you can also export any personal data that you've got with Google in an industry standard format to another service. So I think you know, those are some of the checks that we have. And actually, you know, tens of millions of Europeans have visited my account and run a privacy check, and uh, many of them have changed their settings as a result of seeing that. I mean, obviously, there's tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people who haven't done that. And I think one of the challenges here is people sort of don't want to spend time on some of this stuff, just like people don't want to spend time on financial services. It doesn't mean to say we don't have an obligation to protect right. those, those people too. So I think um, well-intentioned regulation, which is going to be a bit clunky, I think, some of the implementation, uh, and continuing to really focus, you know, what we say at Google all the time is you've got to focus on the user. It's got to focus on people. We don't have anything if people don't use our services, so they have to trust the services. And... Um, 
that includes people who are not that interested in going into the privacy controls and settings. We need to make sure that they're safe and secure as well. So I think this topic will, will run and run. I'm not sure how the, the sort of Facebook side of things uh, will play out, but I think you know, mi billions of people enjoy um, amazing services on the <laughs> web, and many of them are funded by advertising. So I think it's important that we continue to try to make that model work, uh, even in uh, an environment where there's more um, concern and scrutiny and probably a higher bar on what should be done.